Well, next week, Hardin-Simmons University Theater presents a classic Shakespeare drama that in many in the theater world believe to be cursed. Here to tell us more is Dr. Victoria Spangler and Brennan Lambert. How are you both doing we're, today? We're good, thank you. I'm sorry, I just had to throw that yeah, one in. Okay. I, I had to. <laughs> all right, so tell me all about Macbeth. Well, um, as far as the, it, it's, um, it's one of the shortest tragedies that uh, he wrote. Oh, I've cut it even more. The play runs about 80 minutes. And Br Brendan, Brendan plays Macbeth, actually. What would you say, if you had to say, what is this play about? Um, I'd say it's about ambition and the destruction of one's own pride. Okay. Okay, very interesting way to explain it. Now, we said it before, mm -hmm. but can you explain a little bit of the Macbeth curse for those who don't know it? <laughs> well, you know, I don't really know, honestly. We, we talked about it as right. a company. We talked about on the very first night. There's all these superstitions that surround Macbeth, and it's if, they're, if it's storming on opening night, Apparently, it storms a lot on opening nights of Macbeth. Um, that that's supposed to be good luck. Um, what's another one? Um, that if you say the name in the theater, it's very bad luck. And you have to quote Hamlet or something. <laughs> you know, to, uh, my, my theory, one of my theories is that that there are a lot of accidents that are associated with the play, but the play has a lot of weapons in okay. it. There's a lot of fighting, and there's a large cast, but it's primarily two people. <laughs> Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. So you have a lot of people with a lot of time on their hands. So that's, okay. that's, that's uh, you know, so sometimes that can cause mischief as well. So well, well, surely. Okay, so we talked a little bit before the show. You, the way you guys are putting this play on is a little bit different. Tell me a little bit mm -hmm. about that. Um, well, for one thing, in this production, we have microphones on. And we just thought it was very important that, one, you hear everything. With Shakespeare, every word's very important, especially whenever they're not words that we're used to hearing right. um, in every day. And also, it's just, it's an ability for us to be able to make the audience have to work less. Mm -hmm. Because we're so used to speakers in our everyday mm -hmm. life that if an actor gets really low on stage, you have to like really lean in and mm -hmm. hear this just takes it off them and they can really just focus yeah. on the story. Well, I tell the, the students, I say, one of my goals is to limit the number of times audience members might go, what just happened? <laughs> you know, and so we, we, it's not a complicated story. It's really not. He gets a prophecy, he's gonna be king. He takes things in his own hand and bodies start to fall. Um, one of the things that we're doing with this play is it's kind of immersive okay. in that the actors are very close to the audience. The actors walk up into the audience. There's actors enter from the audience and exit through the audience because I don't want it to be just passive, come in to sit and watch. They're involved com completely, especially mm -hmm. with the Macbeths. Well, that has been very special, I'm sure. What has that been like trying to create this story and rehearse this story? Well, it's been a wild ride, but Mainly, it's, it's just been fun. It's been very challenging, because it's, it's a unique way of thinking, and especially with the way that the set is set up, so immersive, it really makes you use all of it and turn and like think in ways that are very unique. Because essentially, we've got pretty much a bare stage. We have where the witches are, we have the forest, we have the chain, we have these locations, but that's what Shakespeare, in Shakespeare's time, there were no set pieces, there was no furniture. So the location changes, you know, in that way. We've rehearsed, we've been working about six weeks. And that's longer than we yeah. usually do. Right. But we want to give it, the, it's, it's a complicated play, but they're going to be ready. They well, are absolutely going to be ready. I am very excited Thank to you. see this one. Thank you both for joining mm -hmm. me today. And if you would like to come see Macbeth, it will be at the Hardin Simmons University in the Van Ellis Theater. Shows will run the 14th through the 16th, beginning at 7.30, and there will be a Sunday matinee on November the 17th at 2 p.m., and we'll have all of those details on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.